Broadway star Sierra Bagas has played the iconic roles of Ariel in The Little Mermaid and Christine Daae in The Phantom of the Opera and the sequel, Love Never Dies. Now she's back in the West End playing another legendary lady, Fantine, in Les Miserables. We're here at the Queen's Theatre to chat with the Broadway favorite. Hi, Sierra. Hi! Oh my gosh, so here we are. We're in London. Here we are. Broadway, Broadway slash London star over here, Sierra Bagas, and we're in your dressing room at the Queen's Theatre. Yeah, a little intimate. A little it's intimate. intimate. You share this dressing room. This is not a big, glamorous Broadway yeah. star dressing room. No, but I share it with big, glamorous people like the Eponine and the Cosette and the Madame Thenardier. I saw the show yesterday. Oh my God, this show is in such great shape. You are incredible as Fontaine. Thank you so totally much. Totally broke my heart. I was, oh. I, I, you were on the top of my list of things I had to see here. Yes. <laughs> um, but this show, this show, I, I, it's frustrating that it's not on Broadway because yeah. we should all be able to go enjoy this show all the time. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, if not my favorite, one of my favorite musicals of all time. It is strange that it's not on Broadway. It, I think people even think it's on Broadway, you <laughs> right. know? It just seems like Phantom and Les Mis are on Broadway and in the West End. But it is such a joy, I can't even tell you, to be, first of all, playing Fontaine and to be a part of this show and this company. Do you remember the first time you ever heard this music or latched onto that story? Or? I, yes. Well, I listened to it all through high school. So high school is the first time that I heard it. So what, I was like 14, 15 uh -huh. years old. And I remember being at one of my best friend's houses and I stayed the night there and we listened to it on her cassette tape. And then, you know, you, it's one, of, I remember just knowing it. You know, you yeah. just listen to it once and you just, you just know it. And, and then I just, you know, it's forever what I listen to. And my dad is the ultimate Jean Valjean, I have to oh, say. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> just because his is the voice I always remember, like, singing he, like, along he sang it to at it. Home? Like, but he's, and he's not, like, he's not a Broadway guy. He's, he's my dad, but he loves it so much. And so he's, like, I always just remember him being, singing, like, bring <laughs> Could he hit it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's my dad. <laughs> I love the path your career is taking because, I mean, a lot of people first saw you in Little Mermaid on Broadway. Yeah. Very iconic, prince Disney princess role, and then you were brilliant. Love, I'm a big Love Never Dies fan, as you know. Yes. You were brilliant in Love Never Dies Thank over you. here, and and the 25th anniversary Phantom concert. Which, One of my favorite things. Oh, I mean, just incredible. Available on DVD and Blu-ray. Christmas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, that, that's incredible. But you, you've and now Fantine, like you, you've, you're really interesting. You're not just staying with like it, it'd be sort of obvious for you to do Cosette now. Yeah. But Fantine is sort of a darker role, and yeah, and well, and now they're you know they're casting it much younger too. I'm one of the older people in this company, wow. which is also really interesting for me because I'm I'd be too old to play Cosette in this production. Oh really? Wow. First of all. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so it's it is it's really interesting, and I'm I'm loving like where this is where it's going and stuff, uh -huh. and it is, I've I've never wanted to be you can be pigeonholed a Disney princess the rest of your life. Yeah. Now I will enjoy that because I am a Disney princess for the rest of my life. I mean, there's Ariel in the dressing room. Yeah, you can't escape it. I have a calendar, an advent calendar of Disney princesses. So I love that and embrace yeah. it. But I want to also, I have so many other things that I want to yeah. express within myself. And Fontaine, somehow, I i mean, I, I relate to her, not at the depth of what she's been through, but you know, I have something to say about the character. And I think if you have something to say about a character, you gotta you gotta get it out there. Yeah. So this is the first time I'm ever I've ever seen Les Mis where uh, at the curtain call I saw the actor playing Javert put his arm lovingly around Fantine as they walked off stage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you My. know that you know that guy, don't you? Yes. <laughs> I gotta take home a very own Javert. <laughs> Party favor. <laughs> You're talking about your fiance. Yes, Tam Mutu. Tam Mutu, who I also you met during Love Never Dies. Yeah, he was. I saw him go on as a Phantom. He like. Oh covered. yeah, he was on all the time. He was the, he was alternate Phantom. Right. He was on a lot, and um, we bonded. And he was like really nervous the first time he asked me out, and I was like, oh, you know, I remember talking to it with Jack O'Brien, my director. I was like, I don't know, Jack, should I give him a chance? Like, and he's like, Sierra. 
because he he knew. That was He's a good like, Jack O'Brien. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've studied him. <laughs> but he was, I mean, he was like such a cheerleader about it. It's kind of funny because you don't really, I obviously don't have any big romantic moments on stage in this one. In fact, he but takes... But when you're like drunk and messed yeah. up, you are groveling like at his at feet. His, yeah. How, how's that? That's kind of odd. <sighs> well... I mean, it's interesting. I think that's why it works with us too, because obviously he's from here. I'm from from America, and um, so we've we've been apart as much in our relationship as we've been together. And with the roles that we're playing too, it's not like we're living and working on top of each other because right. we have nothing to do with each other except for when he is him, and you know, in that small moment of yeah. like hitting me basically with his yeah, cane awkward. thing yeah I mean come on but he was so sweet the other night he came off stage and he was like honey I just I I accidentally I looked down and I saw you in such distress and he like had a moment of an oh. instinct of like he should help me up now oh, that, that wouldn't work no, <laughs> but it was sweet because he's not, Tam's very, I mean, he's like, Tam's a dude, like he, he doesn't. He's terrifying as Javier. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I think Russell Crowe would run down a dark alley, I mean, he's a frightening <laughs> He Javier. is, one, I, honestly, I'm not just saying because he's my fiance, because I'm, I'm the harshest critic, so, but he is one of the best Javers I've ever seen, yeah. truly. Yeah. Him and Norm Lewis. Uh-huh. Got to plug my own dad, Norm. We love Norm. We all love Norm. <laughs> but uh, honestly, he is he is excellent. Sometimes I'll come down and I'll watch. I went down um, yesterday actually to and from the barricade. I hide like in the barricade. You can't see because it's off stage. And I watched Javert suicide. Spoiler alert: He kills himself. <laughs> um, <laughs> they all die. <laughs> they die. Um, and and I just watch it. And I never want him to know that I'm there because I don't want him to do anything because I'm watching. But I just you know I do that with it. But I'll do that with anyone. I mean, I'll come and I'll watch Geronimo, who plays Jean Valjean. I'll go and watch off stage his soliloquy at the beginning. And I, I just, I love this show. Yeah. And no matter how many times you do it, or hear it, or go and see it, or anything, you, you're not like, oh, this song again. Not at ever, all. Ever. Ever. I mean, this, I can't even the tell you. is thrilling. It is. The whole, I just, I absolutely love this show. I love how you keep, you definitely hold on to your fangirl a little bit. I, love I that. do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to. I don't care how cool you think you are or how high you've made it, you are still that kid who wants to be where you are. Right. <laughs> Does right. that make sense? It totally makes sense. So, that's, anyway. Obviously the movie's coming out. There's, it must be exciting to be in the show at this time. It's, Les Mis is on everyone's brain right now. It is. It's, it's buzzing. It's all over town. And we as a cast, they gave us the night off the other night, and we as a cast got to go yeah. to the premiere, and yeah. it was so cool. And I saw the photos on Broadway.com. Uh, Broadway.com, great site to look at photos. <laughs> You look very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. All. It was so fun because we look like crap in this show. You know, all <laughs> of us, we're just at our best. Yeah. And so for everybody to get glammed up and go and, you know, just, again, go and see this movie of this show that we love so much yeah. and not be sick of the music is like, wow. You're finishing your run here yep. at the end of the year yep. and coming back to Broadway. Yeah. And, and we're going to all get to finally see your Christine Daae yep. in Phantom, not Love Never Dies, although I hope I still hold up hope that that'll happen Me someday. Me too, yep. But Phantom of the Opera, you're, you're going to go in for the New York, you did the London 25th anniversary concert. Yep. And now you're going to go and do a run in the yes. Broadway Phantom for the 25th yeah. anniversary on Broadway. It's so exciting and it's so weird because I feel like I've already done it in New York. Right, right. And people think that. That a lot right. that you, but I, I'm so excited to finally get to do that and I'm so excited to work with Hugh because Hugh I had always heard amazing things about his phantom and he and I did one of the early um, readings of Rebecca together oh wow how uh -huh. weird yeah so now we're finally getting we did a like a little photo shoot you know for our press photos yeah. and stuff um, so that it's all set when I come because I literally I, my last day of Les Mis is January 10th okay. fly home the 11th that's a Friday and then I start rehearsals on Monday have a week and then I'm in and the 25th anniversary is I think the 26th of January yeah yeah, yeah absolutely um, which is my grandparents anniversary who both aren't here with us oh. anymore but they are so here and their love oh. is like Amazing, and the fact that that's on the anniversary of Phantom is like, oh, 
again, no accidents. Wow. Anyway, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. And well, you know all the words. You must. Say I know it in the your words. Sleep. I mean, it's, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because I always, I, I never want to take it for granted and come back and be like, oh crap I sort of knew it because yes I've done it so many times but I I end up walking to work um, here and yeah. I sing the score from my it takes from my house to get to here it's a 15 minute walk and I can sing through the whole score in 15 minutes not full out the score of phantom a phantom yeah you sing the th the full thing how do you do that you mean just your parts? I just just my parts Christine's parts only 15 minutes well, if you do it really fast, like I just think it'd be funny when we say, that's literally what I do. And so people will probably. Chipmunks very Yep, that's what I do. I want to point out, you know, you have these. I, I saw on your social media that you, you went to Barbara, you met Barbara Streisand. Oh, did you? I? I can't tell. I heard, I, I heard a story. <laughs> That doesn't she like? Didn't she in her concert read questions from the audience, and then you you wrote one of the questions, and she made fun of your name. No. Okay. What happened? Let what happened? me dispel it. So I, I let's begin with I love Barbara Streisand. Obsessed. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Obsessed. Have been. I mean, I. What's up, Doc? I could start quoting right now, and oh, we could go it's on a great and on. Movie. on. Hello, what's Dolly. What's your favorite quote from What's Up, Doc? Uh, there, I can't. I can't. There's no favorite. Oh, okay. okay. I, no, no. There's okay. no no favorites. The whole thing. Okay. Um, but and Hello Dolly was the first movie musical I ever saw. Right. That is also like, oh god. Right. Um, and you'd be a great funny girl. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, know. I wouldn't. Sure. I couldn't ever take that. I I couldn't ever take on any Barbara Streisand role because I would give you every single exact thing that she's done. I mean, I'm that. <laughs> crazy. You're an impersonator? It's No, but I wouldn't ever impersonate her either. It's just I can't help it. It's just within me. Okay, okay. I don't know if she I'm... She lives in you. Do you see, <laughs> she lives in me. <laughs> um, so I took my voice teacher. That's my voice teacher, Mary, who's uh -huh. been my teacher since I was 17. She's extraordinary. But I, I took her um, because Richard J. Alexander, who directed yeah. her concert, yeah. Barbara Streisand's concert, invited me. So those questions are obviously, they're scripted. Cause so she starts reading off. She, she says, now we've reached the part in our concert where I do questions and answers. And you guys will have written questions. And, and I was like, and I turned to Mary, and I'm like, oh, I wish we had seen like how to write a question. Man, that would have been so. <laughs> Cool. And then she starts reading the questions and says somebody, and then she goes, and this next question is from Sierra, and I was like, oh. and she goes, B -bo bogus, <laughs> said it wrong, and then she was like, oh, what a name. <laughs> now, I blacked out at that point, so I don't know what the question was that I supposedly <laughs> asked or anything, and I go, oh. Mary goes, oh. And the people around us, these lovely rich people, were like, oh, was that your question? I go, no, I didn't write a question. I, I don't know, but she just said my But name. I am bogus. Like, but that, uh, that's me. <laughs> she said, so the rest of it, I, and then she sang another song that I, I was literally like pro watching it like, she said Sierra. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I'm hot and sweaty thinking about it. She was extraordinary. It was like she sang every song you wanted to hear. She was so comfortable. I can't even tell you. It was truly an extraordinary experience. And after the show, I met her. And it was... I, I had been planning in my head, like, I had gone through these lists of, here's what I should not say to her, right, because right. it'd be too creepy. Right. <laughs> it'd be too creepy. I have a list of things not to ever tell her, but... That are all um, true. That are creepy. true. Like, yeah. I mean, I mean. Um, but, so, what I realized um, was the things, when people are fans of me yeah. and they come to me at stage or they write me like the things that mean so much is when somebody genuinely just is grateful for right. the experience that they've had that right. I've helped them have and that's when I feel really like oh okay mm -hmm. like I really listen then yeah. it wouldn't mean anything if I said to Barbara Streisand I love you and funny girl or you right. know because right. she's heard that and right. what does that mean to her right. well so all I realized was I just got to get out thank you so much because she has changed my life and so I shook her hand and I was I managed to this is so weird I managed to keep my upper body strong and not shaking my legs were like, <laughs> like I, and I because I was like I don't want to freak her out like with a shaking hand and and I 
got to say everything I've ever wanted to say to her. I'm just, thank you. I'm so grateful to her. I am so grateful to her. I really am. Wow. So, because she gets me on stage. If I'm too nervous, if I'm like too anxious or freaking out, I just listen to her singing. It's, that's, that's all it takes, really. And it's like, focus, focus on that. And she helps center me and, and you know, that means nothing to her, but it means the world to me. So it was, it was amazing. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Should I talk more about it? I feel like I've talked enough about it. We'll talk more about it next time. Next time we talk. <laughs> anyway. We'll, talk, we'll do a whole Barbra Streisand conversation. Oh, great. And you'll, we'll do a What's Up Doc. Oh, great. We'll do all of What's Up Doc. Oh, okay. Great. People so, will love that, I'm sure. <laughs> They'll be like, People hey, love that's that. great. We have to let you get ready for to go through this Fantine drama again tonight because that's your life right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anyone's anywhere near London or just has a, a whim to maybe go to London, you need to check out Sierra Vargas. You're, you're here through January 10th. January 10th is my life. And then we'll see her on Broadway. Yes. Oh, my God. Can't I wait. Can't wait. Yay. And so we'll all see you there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everyone. We'll Bye, Broadway.com. We'll see you soon. <laughs>